Hello everyone, this is Teresa Benson, Product Marketing Manager here at Red Lion Controls, and we are continuing our series on Crimson 3.1. In a previous episode, we created the HMI that you see in front of us. We've got something uh, primitive that's filling. It goes to 100 and back down again. We've got an on-off switch, and that on-off switch is controlling a light that you see to the left. And then we did some work with data entry on HMIs where we can uh, take values uh, that a user inputs and we showed you how to have a numeric tag do math on those values. So let's take some of these concepts a little bit further. In this episode we are going to make that light turn on and off uh, dependent on the value of uh, this tank. Maybe you know we have a set point that we create and anytime that the level goes above that set point, this light goes on and every time it goes below it, it turns back off. So let's go into our database in Crimson 3.1. Here it is. And the first thing we need to do is create that set point. All right, so we're gonna create a numeric data tag. Let's rename that. I'm hitting F2. You can also right click and choose rename. And let's just call it set point so it's real clear to us uh, what this is. And what we wanna do is uh, have this be true when level is greater than set point. So one of the things that we can do is come into the source here and we can say uh, in our complex uh, option, if uh, set, uh, level is greater than or equal to set point, we want it to return true and otherwise we want it to return false. All right, so now we've sort of taken the control of uh, whether or not the light turns on away from that switch and we've put it on the tag itself. So we no longer need this switch. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and the error goes away. You saw that I got an error. That error was saying, hey, you assigned an action to this uh, symbol and that action no longer applies because it's no longer uh, being controlled by that toggle switch. It's being controlled by the formula that we wrote. So let's now uh, go ahead and put some sort of a value in that data tag. You see the lights on right now. That's because the value zero, we haven't assigned a value to set point yet. And so it's true. We know that our formula is working. So let's just uh, give set point a value. Uh, we can assign a constant here. So let's say, you know, 55. Let's say that that's what the set point is. When we come back to this display page, the light turns off because within the environment, even though we haven't downloaded it to the HMI yet, uh, it's doing the math that we told it to do. And that's now false. Set point is 55, and so the light is no longer turning on. All right, let's go ahead and send this to our HMI, and we'll go to the web server and see what happens as we approach that set point. All right, so it is now working. Uh, look for more tips and tricks on how to use Crimson 3.1 in our next episode.